Yama, I'm Jack and this is Newsbreak. Right now, the number one song in Australia is a track that came out almost 40 years ago. It's called Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush and Amal's here to explain how such an old song is smashing records today. It's you and me. It's you and me. You and if I could, I'd make a deal with God and I'd get... Yeah, people everywhere, including me, just can't get enough of English singer Kate Bush right now. Running up that hill is topping charts around the world, from Australia to the UK. Something it didn't get close to doing when it first released in 1985. So, what's going on? Well, Kate's song plays a big role in the latest season of the popular Netflix show, Stranger Things. It's not the first time we've seen a show or movie launch an old song back into the spotlight. For example, Guardians of the Galaxy helped the 1974 track, Come and Get Your Love, storm back onto the charts in 2014. But what makes Kate Bush go even more viral than anything else we've seen in recent memory is TikTok. Running up that heel has been used in around 2 million videos on the app. To put that into perspective, that's more than double what we saw for the last classic track that went massively viral on TikTok, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Kate Bush says she's just happy that her song's being discovered and enjoyed by a whole new generation. There's a big change coming to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The New South Wales government has announced it's going to permanently install the Aboriginal flag on top of the iconic bridge. At the moment, the Aboriginal flag is only flown for a few days a year, on a pole usually reserved for the state's flag. After three years off, the Logies are back. It's Australia's biggest awards night for entertainment, with the most popular personality taking the coveted Gold Logie. Joe has all the details. Oh, the Logies. It was a big night. And if you're wondering why I don't look tired, because I wasn't there. Nobody from BTN was there. Because we didn't get nominated. The awards returned after having to take a three-year break thanks to COVID, with all the best talent from our favourite Aussie shows in attendance. Well, almost all. Even in our absence, the ABC did really well, taking out a whopping nine awards, like ABC News Breakfast's Tony Armstrong winning the most popular new talent. There's a lot of people I need to thank. Um, first off, uh, the old cheese, my mum. And everyone's favourite blue healer, Bluey, won the most outstanding children's program. I sure couldn't think of any other outstanding children's programs. C can you? Moving on. Hamish Blake also had quite a night. He helped uncover a voting scandal. Unbelievable. Won the inaugural Burt Newton Award for Most Popular Presenter and also scooped up the Gold Logie for Most Popular Personality on Aussie TV. Of course, I'd like to thank Channel 9, who in turn would like to thank me for gold. So. <laughs> Must be nice. You'll have to pay close attention to these next stories because they're, uh, not what they seem. Don't worry, there is nothing wrong with your TV. This house really is upside down. The upside down house is the latest attraction at an adventure park in Romania. It was made to leave visitors feeling dizzy and trust me, it's working. Check out this mohair suit. And no, it's not the type of mohair that comes from an angora goat. It's mohair, as in moustache hair, that comes from, well, moustaches. To be more specific, moustache hair that was donated by people who participated in Movember. The exhibition features a bunch of other hairy attire, and just like Movember, it's all about raising awareness for men's health. And what's this? A sign of life on Mars? NASA's Mars rover has captured an image of an unexpected shiny object on the red planet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Aliens. Well, apparently not. On closer inspection, NASA reckons the shiny object is just a piece of thermal blanket that got left behind when the rover first landed on the planet. Well, that's all the news we've got for you. Um, I'm going to go find our set, but we'll see you tomorrow with more. This way.